Hi everyone, this is just a quick update. I've got um, a really important announcement for you. Um, so I'm just in my bedroom with the boys and Harry and Woody are downstairs. They're getting on really well at the moment. <clears throat> um, so I'll be doing a few more videos of them in um, the next few days. And I said, um, someone asked me um, about the new tank setup that I've got for them. <clears throat> so I said that I would show it and I'd also show like how I made it because um, it was really easy to do. But I'm just going to show you quickly today because um, the tank's a really big mess. Um, they've been chewing cardboard so it's everywhere. Um, so it needs a little clean up and um, I'm also going to fill it up today as well because it is quite low. So first of all, I'm just going to show you really quickly because I'll do it in more detail in another video. Um, I've just got these glass shelves that I talked about. Um, and that's where the wheel clips onto, which I had to take it out overnight because it really is too loud. Um, so I can just clip the wheel on and off. And then over here, this is the other shelf. Um, it's really bad lighting at the moment because I've got the night light on top of the tank on, but because it's like um, it's gone dark outside now, um, so it's I prefer to film with natural light in this room, um, so you can just see like the reflections in the glass. It's not the best, um, and this shelf here that Pluto's on, that's the food bowl, the Exoterra reptile food bowl that he's eating out of. Um, and I have the water bottle hung up here as well and I've just got like those glass blocks which are from B&Q and I'll go into more detail about these on my next video and um, they're just for them to hop up onto the ledges on um, and this is just the Exoterra ferris branch so You've seen it, but you've seen it in like a smaller version in my other videos. It's like some stuff down here. So it's basically this one, but um, if you remember me saying I wanted to get a bigger one, well, that is a large one and it's been partially buried. Okay, so on to the important announcement that I have for you. Um, it's not actually about these guys, it's about Harry and Woody. Um, I'm not actually going to show you them today because they're downstairs um, and I just wanted to film up here at the moment. Um, so, as you sh as most of you all know, if you've been watching my videos, um, the last video that I posted was, um, it's called Split Cage Success um, with Woody and Harry and it's basically a video of them grooming each other. It's a really quick clip um, so it was about two days ago that I put them together now um, and they got on really well and um, there was a bit of like chasing going on which is completely normal for when you first introduce two gerbils there was no fighting um, <clears throat> they had sort of like little um, you know where they try and get each other onto their backs to groom them. They had a little, um, little session like trying to do that to each other and that's also when you introduce two gerbils that don't know each other that's also getting them getting to know each other like uh, figuring out who is the dom dominant one of the pair. Um, so they were doing a lot of that and I kept an eye on them and I had gloves on um, while I was watching them, so I kept an eye on them for quite a few hours. Um, I, first of all, I introduced them into like their cleaning box, which is just a really large like um, storage tub. And um, so I put some cardboard in, cut some cardboard tubes in, so that they could hide if they wanted to. I introduced them in that, and then once everything was, you know, had gone quite well. I then put them into the clean cage, which um, was like a, 
a clean scent um, and then I just watched them in that for like um, I think it was up to it was about four hours until like they eventually settled down um, and then everything went fine and then then they started grooming each other and they eventually settled down to sleep I'd taken like all the bed out, bed out and everything but I'll go into more detail um, if anyone wants to know more about the split cage method so they were getting on really well and then during the day um, I went to check on them again and um, I noticed that the chasing had started again um, but this time like it didn't look to me like any sort of sort of um, dominance thing that I've ever seen gerbils do and I've had quite a few gerbils um, so it normally looks quite similar but this looked a lot more like mating and it was really strange because I thought how can they be surely they can't be it turns out that Harry is actually a female gerbil so yeah <laughs> it was, I've been in shock for the last few days um, and I don't really know how to tell you guys this because um, I have had my suspicions since getting male gerbils I have noticed that there is quite a, notice, a noticeable difference um, just by looking at them um, so I never I've never claimed to be an, a gerbil expert I just I do know quite a lot about um, how to take care of gerbils but and you'll know this if you do own gerbils like it is quite difficult to sex them um, I did actually have my suspicions and I never actually went and got it checked um, just because when I first adopted Harry the girl I adopted him from um, she told me that he was male and um, so I just I never really questioned it um, and I just thought that perhaps it was like the age difference or perhaps that Harry was a bit fatter that you couldn't it wasn't as noticeable that he might have, that he was a, a boy so <clears throat> um, he is in fact female now because um, I know that sometimes they can there's a bit of grooming going on here I know sometimes um, they can do like a dominance thing which looks a bit like mating but I've seen that lots of times before and it really was something different um, and they really were mating there's now quite a big possibility that Harry is pregnant <laughs> so we have a unplanned durable pregnancy on our hands I've wanted to start breeding as a hobby and um, for quite some time but um, I never really got round to it and I, I did actually consider um, getting when I thought Harry was a male getting a female for him and um, so now that it's happened um, I'm just sort of um, embracing it more than anything and <clears throat> um, I've just decided that depending on how many um, pups that they have I'm going to um, just keep two, just keep a female with Harry and a male with Woody and split them up um, for the time being um, and I'm hoping to like um, give the rest away to good homes um, and also we've got some really sad news and that is that the hamsters are probably going to have to go um, if Harry does turn out to be pregnant because at the moment I've got eight pets all together including the six gerbils and these two and it's just really sad because <clears throat> although I love them my if Harry was to have babies like I'm gonna have to really concentrate on them and 
Um, I've never really fully bonded with the with the hamsters, and I just think someone else could give them a lot more, um, you know, a lot more attention than I do. I do try my I have tried my best to like care for them as best as I could, and like give them a really nice home. Um, but I think it's time for them to maybe um, move on. Um, it's really sad because. I've never actually given um, a pet up before, up for adoption, um, but I know some people say like it's really horrible of me, um, but I actually think it's it's probably better in the long run to um, make sure that they go to a nice loving home um, because I'm absolutely going to be absolutely overrun with gerbils. <clears throat> and um, especially now um, that a few weeks ago I actually moved back in with my parents and so it being their house um, there's sort of um, no room for them really and so unfortunately I think that's what I'm going to have to do um, but what I think, I'm the way I think I'm going to do it is I'm going to place an ad on Guntree and um, because I live in the Manchester area, I'm going to see if anyone wants them and then they can come to me to pick them up and I can basically meet the meet the person, talk to the person and just make sure that they, they're going to a nice loving home. Um, so unfortunately I'm going to have to um, give these guys up for adoption as one of them. Um, because I do love playing with them and... They are just so cute, it's going to be really sad to see them go. Um, but I'm obviously, I'm more of a gerbil person and I think I fell in love with these guys because they are so cute but they're just, they are really hard to hand tame and I just feel like I'm not getting the most out of them and that they're probably not getting the most out of being here either. Um, <clears throat> but I've tried to look after them really well so hopefully um, they've had a good part of their life with me so yeah that's really sad, it's really upsetting um, but I guess like that's just the way things go sometimes um, so to cheer me up I went to Pets at Home today because I needed to get some more gerbil food um, so I got a few other things as well. So, first of all, I just got the gerbil and mouse muesli, which is just a basic food that I feed to all the gerbils. Um, this is. Um, I also want to start getting. I'm also thinking about getting Jerry gerbil, which is just a little bit cheaper than this. I think it's a pound cheaper. Um. But this is fine. Um, I've also been bulking up my food with this gerbil mix that I made. Um, I made this the other day. And it's just like in a resealable bag. And it's got um, a few cereals in. So it's got like, it's like a homemade gerbil muesli. Um, I've got some cornflakes in there. And um, some Rice Krispies. And some porridge oats. And a few nuts and things in there. Um, so that's really good to like bulk up my food um, because obviously I have so many gerbils to feed it goes down really quickly so I'm just going to fill that up in a minute and feed them um, the next thing that I got and I've been looking for this um, for a while so this is clean and safe um, cage disinfectant um, and it's by Johnson's and I got this recommended to me by Moo Moo's Pet Munchies on YouTube and so thank you for that um, I've seen every time I go in pets at home I, I've seen I see normally see this one um, a blue one and a clear one but this is the one that's been recommended to me so I'm gonna this is the one that I'm gonna try <clears throat> um, the other thing that I bought were these 
Hamster Vitamin Solution Drops and they're also suitable for gerbils it says somewhere so for hamsters and gerbils <coughs> it just tells you to give them 15 drops in their water and you can also add it to the food as well <coughs> I've never really bothered with these before but um, after seeing my friend use them for her hamsters um, I thought it would probably be a good idea and as well because of <coughs> the news that um, Harry may be expecting um, I thought it would be better to get some vitamins in her it sounds so strange saying her um, so yeah, to get some vitamins in her to um, make her like ultra healthy sorry I've got a cough <coughs> Okay, and the next thing was I bought another Living World glass bottle. I've been really pleased with this. Um, when I first got my one that's in their tank, it was, I had problems with it not dispensing enough water, but that's just sorted itself out. Because um, I have read quite bad reviews about it. Um, if you're actually think, if anyone's actually thinking of getting one, but you're, you've been put off by the reviews, um, <clears throat> I, I'd recommend you to just try it anyway because that's what I did um, and it really is like a really good water bottle like especially for gerbils because they can't chew it so if you're going to get it for gerbils I'd recommend getting the six the six ounce one um, because it's just the right size and the 12 ounce, which is the next one up, is more for guinea pigs. It's like double the size. <clears throat> so um, I actually got another one because I'm going to set up a breeding tank, uh, which is like, I don't really know the dimensions, but it's about half the size of this one. And I'm going to put Harry and Woody in it um, just in about two weeks' time when I sort out a mesh lid for it. Um, and I'm going to use this. And I'm also, in the meantime, I'm going to use, I'm going to replace their bottle with it anyway because it's a lot um, more robust. So that was a really good purchase. Um, and then I just bought three more bags of this small sawdust. I know people have been telling me that it's not the safest thing to use for for gerbils but um, I personally have never had any problems with it. Harry actually lived on this for um, the first few months that I had him um, and I have alternated it in between as well. Um, I think it's a lot better value for money than the wood shavings because you seem to get a lot more per bag. Um, these were only um, £1.99 each and because it's compressed you do get quite a lot more than the bag shows um, and really to be honest it's so much cheaper for when you want to fill a tank as big as this one. Um, it's just going to get ri ridiculously expensive otherwise. Um, so yeah, I do mix it with hay um, for their bedding and I'm just going to keep a very close eye on them to make sure that they do not get any like eye problems or anything like that. So yeah, I bought that. Um, so then the prices were, this mix was... Two ninety nine, and clean and safe was three pounds. I think it was slightly reduced. Um, the vitamin solution was three pounds as well. So that was re that had like forty nine pence off. Um, and the living world bottle was four ninety nine. Um, I was going to get it online because I wanted to get some treat sticks and um, like they had some I saw some like kebab holders online 
um, and they didn't actually have them in Pets at Home that I went into but um, I thought it was just easy as I was there anyway to get it. It was only like a pound more. Um, so yeah, so that was 4 .99. And I think that was everything. So that's just my mini haul um, that I wanted to show you. Um, and I'm also planning to get, if I show you, this. It was by the Woodlands range, I think. It's this feeder. It's like a little house. Um, it's shaped like a tree trunk and it's got a hole in the top and it comes with like a plastic bowl. But I was going to replace it with like a metal bowl. Um, I wanted to get that for Harry's breeding tank as well. 